Hello everybody, welcome back. Have a brand new knife for you today. Today we're going to take a look at the Rough Rider Copper Knife. And now this is a copper flipper knife. Uh, modern design and Rough Rider itself, generally the, generally they're known for their traditional knives. So lockbacks, slip joints, things like that. Uh, not the highest quality or materials, but they work and they have a very good reputation for solid work knives. And so they kind of dipped their toes into the modern folding knife scene. And so what they did is they brought out a copper folder. And I believe this is a liner lock with copper scales and a flipper. So I have not opened it yet. So this is actually a relatively true unboxing here. Um, and I didn't open it because it generally with copper, you know, once you open it up, you can get some marks on the scales and I, I didn't want to mar it up for the video. So as I got it out of the box, is out here seeing it right now. So taking a look at it, we have solid copper scales, both sides of this knife. We do have a pocket clip, but it is one position only. And so there are no holes drilled out for left hand carry. It's going to be right hand side, tip up only. And we do have the Rough Rider logo on that pocket clip. So you can take a look at it there, not deep carry or anything. You can see the clearance. And I am wearing these blue gloves because again, oils in your skin can interact with copper. And honestly, since I just opened it, I have not taken any pictures of this knife for the thumbnail for this video yet. So I wanted to keep it as pristine as possible before I do that. And so as a result, you are seeing it, you know, right out of the box. And so it came out of this plastic bag. It did not come in a sealed plastic, um, plastic wrapper. Sometimes I've seen copper products come with that um, just to keep them as pristine as possible. But we do have a wipe down cloth, cleaning cloth, very soft material. And you might need that if you want to keep this copper looking nice. So again, this is a liner lock flipper, 2.8 inch blade. Let's see how it flips. First flip. Uh, no problems, no problems. So what's really special about this knife and the reason why I decided to pick it up, uh, not because I love copper for any particular reason, but this particular knife has a VG10 blade, 2.8 inches, and uh, copper scales, and this knife costs $30, so $29.99. So that's actually a pretty good steal for um, that price. So $29.99, we get VG10 steel uh, with the Rough Rider branding on it. And so we can take a look at the lockup right there. Lockup seems just about right for a liner lock. And you play a little bit of side to side. Let me try flipping it a few times. Flipping action is really good. Taking a look in there, these, it looks like this is running on bearings. So no, no washers. So a knife VG10 blade running on bearings, copper scales, both sides have a little bit of jimping up top. Um, but that being said, for a 2.8 inch blade, it actually feels bigger than that in hand. I mean, of course, some of that is the heft of these copper scales. But we have the dual thumb studs, we have the flipper action. So a couple of different ways to mess with this blade. Looks like we have Torx head screws. Pretty typical for what I would think at this price point. So let's get a close-up action of the blade and the scales. Show that off to you. Taking a look at the blade again, you probably notice we have this 
fuller up here, this line, very decorative. Um, the blade stock looks considerably thick. I do not have my measurement tools with me, otherwise I would measure that, so I feel bad for that, sorry. But we have a thick VG10 steel blade, open construction for this liner lock. And now the knife is advertised as being a 5.2 ounce knife, which is fairly heavy, but again, I understood that with copper, that's kind of what you're gonna get. So let's see if that is accurate. It feels heavier than that, in my opinion. So yeah, we're coming in at over six ounces, at least on my uh, measurement scale here. So a little bit heavier than advertised, and again, with the copper handle, I think you're gonna get that regardless. Um, Taking a look at the blade though, I think it looks very nice, drop point design. And as far as I can tell, there's really no special model name for this particular knife. This one is just called the Rough Rider VG10 Copper Drop Point. Um, so nothing fancy about it, they're just being very <laughs> to the point and specific about what this knife is. But I think for the price, if you're a copper hound and you love having copper knives, you are going to like this one because, of course, once you start to use this knife, carry this knife, or even just leave this knife on your shelf, it's going to get a really nice finish on the copper. Let me see if I can find one of my other copper knives here. So one moment and we can do a comparison. All right, so let's see a comparison. This one right here is the CRKT Squid. And this also has copper scales. And you can see this one just from aging and being exposed to the air. It's a very darkish color. Um, looks almost like a stonewashed copper. And uh, honestly, the thing about copper is if you wanted it to look like this again, you would just, you know, have to polish it up and you can get that finish back really easily. But it's just part of the material, you know, part of the style is that it's going to age with you and uh, given enough time and wear, it's going to look very dark and give you that look kind of like an old copper penny would. And so that's kind of the appeal of copper for some people, I think. So that being said, if you like a big hefty knife, this copper knife from Rough Rider is going to appeal to you. I, I really do like that they are kind of branching out into the modern folding market. They took a lot of features that very successful um, folders have. You know, we have the ball bearing opening, we have the flipper, we have the high-end steel, and honestly, VG10 steel not too long ago was considered a very high-end steel. And it's, it's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, what we're getting 2.8 inches of VG10 steel on this copper liner lock knife. You can see the centering right there. No issues with that. Straight out of the box. Pretty impressive from Rough Rider. So what I will do, I can, I'll leave a link to this in the comments if it's still available. Um, but again, $29.99, I think they probably made a lot of these and I think it's probably gonna be pretty popular once word gets out about it. Um, I'm surprised I didn't see it sooner, but I was just happening to browse for knives and found uh, copper kind of jumped out at me. So I decided to purchase this one and pick it up. So that being said, hope you all enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to show, show it off. We're gonna see how this puppy ages. But other than that, any questions you guys, feel free to drop a comment below. Just happy to share with you. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.